I can't see any end point to this. You know, there's one line in one of my books I love, which is, you know, the bad news is there's no arriving. But the good news is there's no arriving. Because once you enjoy traveling, you don't want to arrive. Uh, and for me, it's more that there's this polarity, which I can describe as unconscious oneness journeying to conscious oneness. But those are absolutes. What we've got reality, you know, is consciousness is always what's in between. So we're moving ever towards it. And I, I, I feel that like there's nowhere to, nowhere to arrive in that journey, uh, either individually or collectively. And I've no idea what twists and turns it will take individually or collectively, because we're moving into the unknown all the time. That's why it's so exciting. That's why, it's in a, that's why life is so interesting, because we don't know. And that's where we're... So you can see this, this like in the modern myth of the Big Bang, which I love, because it's, it's actually an insult, isn't it? It wasn't originally called the Big Bang. I mean, there's no one to hear it. How can it be a bang? <laughs> but you've got this incredible idea of the singularity, the oneness exploding into this burst of creativity, into the manyness, and evolving over an impossibly long time to, to, to you know, gas, gas, ooh, bit of life, ooh, sentience, ooh, ooh, to us. And then suddenly, if this gentle sliver here, you've got this latest cosmic art form of a being that's not only sentient and conscious, but conscious that it's conscious. So the whole of the journey has been leading to this, to us, conscious that we're conscious. And my hunch is, okay, well, what happens if we pay attention to the latest thing, that we're conscious that we're conscious? And I think that, was the, that will be the next step in evolution. When we pay attention to being conscious that we're conscious, this unconscious singularity becomes conscious of itself. It's the ground. And rather than being an unconscious ground, it starts to become a conscious ground. Now, what happens then? I don't know. I don't know. But it'll be interesting. I mean, one of the things I think happens then is we'll start being a lot more... Um, we'll realize how interconnected all, everything is with, with each other, the planet, with the universe. We'll live with love. Um, and that would make the dream of life an awful lot better. Because you know, it'd be nice if there wasn't so much suffering.